So, as a grown man, there's very few times I actually get concerned or worried about the location I'm actually in. However, this is one of those times. I'm currently going through all the horror films I've seen since I was a kid, and they're all going through my mind now. So what's the reason for this fear? Well, I'm in a place called Nant Mill, or at least I think I am. I've come down this driveway, I've got into a car park, but I cannot see anything around. I've just got out of the car and I can hear running water and I can hear owls in the distance, but that's it, there's nothing further. So I'm currently waiting for the sunlight to shed a bit of light on the area because it is pitch black out here. So I'm not even going to venture too far away from the car. I've brought my head torch, I've got the, uh, the loom cue with me as well. So I've got plenty of light, but there's that many potholes and that many sort of, I don't know, pathways that go into, into nothing. Like I said, there's a river there, there's a bit of a ford. Yeah, I don't want to get wet feet this, uh, this early on in the morning. You can probably tell behind me it's completely black. It, there's nothing, I can't see a thing around. Um, yeah, it just adds to the creepiness around here. I'm sure it'll be absolutely beautiful once the, uh, once the sunlight starts to, uh, to starts to hit it and uh, yeah, give me something to work with. So I'm just gonna wait in the car and uh, yeah, sort of chicken out, put the central locking on and uh, yeah, wait out until we get a little bit of light. I tell you the situations as vloggers put ourselves through for you guys. Hope it's appreciated. So why have I chose this location? Well quite simply I've not seen a lot of videos from here but I've seen quite a few photographs and all the photographs seem to be pretty much similar all of a waterfall that comes down. This is a place I've never been to. I'm like exploring it as we, as we go on the video. Honestly I just saw, saw some shadow then. I'm seriously freaking out. No, it, I think it's a reflection of me in the window. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Thing is, with having this light on, everyone can see me, but I can't see out of the car. Uh. Right, I'm gonna turn the lights off. I'm gonna um, yeah, try and relax a little bit and um, have a drink and uh, yeah, gather my thoughts. Catch you in a little bit. This is turning into a little bit of an adventure. Um, when you get out of the car, you don't turn right, you turn left. Um, little did I know that. However, as I looked at Google Maps, once I finally got some signal around here, I realized I was going in completely the wrong direction. So uh, yeah, I've made this into uh, a bit of an epic fail at the minute, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping good things are to come. So I've been walking now for about three miles um uh, 300 miles and uh yeah still by the water i've got no sign of this uh this waterfall yet but uh yeah i'll keep on pressing on and uh see where we get to And there she is, just behind me. It's been such a long time since I photographed a waterfall. Um, it's gotta be Scotland. I think the last one I did was where the, the leaping or the, the flying salmon were there. Um, Rogie Falls, I think it was. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a few months anyway since I've actually come out and done a, a waterfall. So yeah, today's a little bit uh, different. And uh, yeah, just looking around this whole area, it's absolutely fantastic for photography. A majority of the images are taken of the waterfall just at this location here. And I've done a couple of test shots now uh, and they seem to be working okay, so. Um, yeah, I'm just going to work this area for a little bit. It's still a little bit too dark. It's coming in at nine second exposure. So all the, uh, all the water's coming in too much of a long exposure for, for what I like. Um, so I'm going to play around with it and uh, hopefully get a little bit more light in a moment and uh, in a moment or in probably about an hour, an hour and a half, two hours maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to have a bit of an explore around this area and just see what else this has got to give. This is obviously a contradiction to what my last vlog was all about knowing your location and, uh, and shooting locally. I've never been here before and this is somewhere that, yeah, I, I intend to explore and possibly come back to.
the sound of the rushing water is quite overpowering so I hope you can hear me um, but yeah I'm just sort of focusing around this area in a minute I've just uh, gone across the rocks here taking a couple of images now just of the uh, just basically of that shop with the uh, water sort of slowing down you've got some rocks in the foreground and then obviously goes on to the main subject which is the waterfall and distance um, it's just a little bit too dark at the moment though it's, it's still coming in even a second long exposure is making that water look too much like old woman's hair just sort of long uh, long white streaks that's the only downside but uh, yeah hopefully we'll be able to work something with it and uh, hopefully once we get further into the morning we might get a little bit of sunlight on around this area and I'll be able to reduce this uh, this shutter speed but yeah it's really quite nice it's, it's beautiful here one tip though if you're coming across here if you're actually coming across onto the rocks be very very careful extremely slippy I can imagine on a misty morning when you've got the sun coming through the trees that place down there would absolutely be a little gold mine certainly want to come back to the weather forecast this morning was saying it was going to be uh, going to be cloudy and sunny uh, we've just got um, sort of nothingness really again it's, it's a grey old day I don't know what it is when I get to North Wales it always seems to just be grey yeah people tell me it's sunny here sometimes I don't believe them I'm not going to let that put me off though, I'm going to walk further down the river and just sort of have a look around this location, probably use this more of a scouting exercise. I think with those weather conditions, with, with bright sun beaming through the trees and, and a bit of morning mist, certainly in the fall, in the autumn, I think around here, yeah, it's got real potential. This path it uh, seems to be thinning out so I think we can I can hear traffic in the distance so I think we're heading towards the main road and the river's still to the right hand side of me but uh, yeah I've been struggling to find anything really um, it's, it's pretty pretty plain um, so I think my quest along here is, uh, is sort of finished I think it's probably time to head back to the car um, but yeah I'm gonna have a when I say head back to the car, I'm going to walk very, very slowly and sort of look for some uh, compositions around the area. Uh, something that uh, I've not seen on the way here because it was so, so dark. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to um, possibly turn around now. Although, hold on, I can hear more rushing water. Two secs. Let, let me just investigate. It would appear I found another location. Um, as you can probably tell by the sound, there's a bit of running water. Um, I've just seen a drop. So, uh, oh, okay. There is something. Yeah, to uh, to shoot this, I think I've got to do it from the, the main road. I'm actually on the 
the road now. Um, yeah, oh, I can work with something, I can do something while I'm here, I'm gonna take uh, an Im image of it. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll set up shot now and uh, see what I can get from here. Yeah. Bonus. I can do better. So I wasn't expecting that little uh, little area. So uh, I'm really making my way back to the car now. Um, I think I've done all I can from here. The put footpath kind of finishes on the road. There may be more to be explored around here. And I don't want to do it all in one day. So uh, yeah, I think head back to the car and revisit. So uh, Nant Mill is finished, but certainly not forgotten. Yeah, what a location. So I'm going to finish the vlog here. If you enjoyed this vlog, give me the thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. It'd be great to have you on board of the channel. And uh, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know who you are, where you're from. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So from, uh, yeah, Wrexham, or Nant Mill just outside of Wrexham, time to say goodbye. All the best. Take care. Bye-bye now.